Hello, welcome to Messing About with Models. I'm going to show you today how to make a tarpaulin. Uh, if you saw my recent video on timber loads, you'll know that I said uh, in that one that tarpaulins were often used to cover them, and so here we are creating a tarpaulin. I'm just going to use some kitchen towel and uh, PVA glue and paint, uh, and also a bit of uh, cling film. First of all, prepare our wagon with our load. You can use anything to sort of create the shape that you need. Um, obviously, we're going to create um, a stack of timber in this wagon. So, uh, first job is to cover the wagon with cling film, which will protect it, protect the load from any paint and glue that we're applying. The trick is to sort of stretch it uh, without tearing it um, so that it's uh, covering the wagon but uh, is mimicking the shape of the load and the wagon as closely as possible. And then you just need to put the kitchen towel or tissue, um, toilet roll over it and then I'm going to secure this with an elastic band. And this needs to sit as low as possible on the wagon um, because this will ultimately be where the top pole in finishes. So um, make sure that it's caught everything. The next stage is to just uh, tease the uh, kitchen towel through the elastic band just so that everything is as, is as tight as possible, um, that there's, there's no loose bits of tissue uh, above the elastic band any folds that you might want can be replicated. As you see it's just a question of sort of fiddling around with the band and sort of making sure that everything is all nice and taut. There we go, and uh, once you're happy with the positioning of the tissue, first thing is just to cut off any major elements of excess uh, that will get in the way of you handling the wagon. You should end up with uh, something looking a little bit like this. I quite liked the kitchen towel because it had a um, an effect in, imprinted in it which uh, looked as if it might be a sort of more woven type material like, like a top hole in is. The first thing we're going to do is going to uh, add some PVA glue uh, mixed with uh, water. And then just to paint this over the over the tissue, I'm just applying it with a brush. Um, anything that allows the, the, the tissue to get wet and for the glue to soak in through uh, the fibres. And obviously, because you have a uh, wet tissues, it needs to be done gently so that you're not tearing any areas. need to make sure that all areas of the, the tissue gets covered, including the areas below the elastic band. Make sure you don't disturb any of the folds that you want to have in your finished product.
And once you've finished, you just need to let this dry. Maybe uh, patch more glue in, in certain areas, just to make sure that it's everywhere covered. You might need a second coat once this is dried. Um, depends on how much PVA glue you've applied. Um, and it's not going to hurt if you do a, a second coating. Once everything's all, all dried and you're satisfied with the appearance of the finish, it's time to paint. I've used uh, my uh, weathered black because I want that sort of grey black look for the tarpaulin. Um, you might find it better with uh, an aerosol, uh, I found, because the paint from the brush uh, seemed to soak in quite rapidly before I had a chance to, to spread it. But the advantage of that is, is it was still keeping hold of the sort of impressions that were in the, the tissue to start with, so that even once it was painted you could still see that sort of square pattern that indicated it might be woven. It's just a case of making sure you paint everywhere. Right down to the uh, elastic band level and a little bit beyond. And just uh, being fairly tentative, just clean, uh, painting uh, all the way around. Paint will also give it an uh, element of structural integrity as well, once it's dried. Now it's just a case of leaving this to dry uh, firmly. Again, I did this overnight. So the next day when you come to it, everything should have been dried, hardened off. It's just a case of easing the elastic band off without uh, disturbing the rest of the paintwork. found that the elastic band was actually stuck a little bit so it just needed a bit of careful tugging to get it off. And once that's off, next step is to take your wagon and load out. Again, sort of very gently easing it out. What you've actually created is kind of mould here. A bit more trimming. Pulling out the uh, cling film that's inside and just cutting along the white line that's been formed by the elastic band. That's the bottom of your top hole. And then the next step is to uh, just pick out in in paint some of the areas that you might have missed and also especially the uh, bottom section where you've cut it off needs to be painted uh, black as well because you don't want any white showing through uh, from the tarpaulin. So here I'm just 
the bottom where I've cut, I'm just sort of running a bit of paint around that. So there's no white that's going to show at all. And there you have it. Here it is on the layout and you would never know that there wasn't a timber load underneath that because it's dried. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe uh, for more videos. Uh, see you next time. Bye.